Starship S-24 was rolled back to the production site probably for the final time. As SpaceX is gearing up for the world's biggest static fire test on a rocket, they don't want to keep anything in the vicinity of the flame from the static fire. For some reason, the Liebherr crane has also been laid down. With the suborbital Pad B test stand currently occupied by S-25, S-24 had no choice but to travel down the Boca Chica highway back to the production site for its final preparations before launch. Instead of moving inside the high bay, S-24 has been kept in the rocket garden, a very unusual place for S-24 to settle in. People have put out different theories on this. Some even think it's the end for S-24. Why would they just scrap a starship they spent all their sweat and money without any good reason? S-24 is the only starship that has completed a full-engine static fire test and proved to be flight-ready. Parking it in the rocket garden doesn't mean it's dead. It doesn't make sense. But I would assume it's just a temporary stop or the final works on S-24 can be finished in the rocket garden without the need to be inside the high bay. If it is the case it is also a good indication that not a lot of work is needed on this rocket. We all know, S-24 is not staying here for long. Once Booster 7 completes its static fire test, S-24 will bid goodbye to the production site and will be on its way to orbit as a Pathfinder ship. In the afternoon, a Raptor 2 was delivered at the launch site potentially for an engine swap on Booster 7 ahead of its static fire. Earlier in the morning, SpaceX successfully launched its sixth mission of the year. Falcon 9 carrying 56 Starlink satellites which set a record for the heaviest payload on a Falcon 9 mission, lifted off from SLC-40 at Cape at 4.32 a.m. Eastern Time. The first stage booster supporting this mission was on its ninth flight. After stage separation, the booster flew back to Earth and landed perfectly on the drone ship, just read the instructions. We still have two more Starlink missions scheduled for January. If SpaceX continues this impressive launch cadence, 100 launches this year is achievable. What do you think? That's it for now, thank you for watching till the end.